Back for the first time in years, Peach County Schools hosted their own Special Olympics. Caitlin Sabater spoke with some folks who say the event goes well beyond just the competition. Contestants took the big leap for the standing long jump at Peach County Schools Special Olympics. 16-year-old Terrence Richards said he didn't need any real practice. Uh, I did do it. I know I'm going to get first place. His mother, Diana Richards, said his disability has never held him back before. Terrence competed in Housing County Special Olympics last year, making it to states. For his first two events, he won first place. His third event, he won in second place. But this year, the teen was able to compete at home. Peach County High partnered with the K-Center, a facility for people with developmental disabilities, and Fort Valley State University to put on the games. Participants competed in foot and wheelchair races, long jumps, and softball throws. I love seeing all these kids out here having fun. Superintendent Lionel Brown said the adults were having fun too. I think we're being a little selfish too because I think the adults are having a great time as well. <laughs> I know I am. Brown said it was about time Peach County kids had their own Special Olympics. We can do the same things that some of these other districts are doing because our kids deserve it too. But Brenda Arnett, the Special Olympics coordinator for the county, said the real reward is showing these kids they're more than their disability. They're just like everybody else and they, they just may do it in a different way. And Terrence seems to know that. After getting first place in the long jump, his focus is now on states. I want another gold medal. In Fort Valley, Caitlin Sabater, 13 WMAZ News. And I bet Terrence gets that gold medal too. Arnett said next year's Special Olympics will likely include middle schoolers and will consist of several different events.